viewers, my name is Adeba Umbo, Adebo Kolachi Dema from Nas TV Africa, where we manifest Africa's greatness. And today we are with Honorable oh, Abdullah oh, Aoudou Dambaba, yeah. representing mm -hmm. Okaima constituency. Nice to meet you, sir. It's a pleasure meeting you guys. So my introduction is not enough to explain your personality. Sir, can you please briefly explain or introduce yourself to the viewers, sir? Yeah, I'm um, um, Abdullah Hali Dudam Baba, a member representing Kayama Kemanji Wajibe, uh, Kayama local government area of Kwara State in the state, in Kwara State as our assembly. Um, I was privileged to have been elected into this office in 2019, to be precise, and I got inaugurated around June 11, 2019. And, uh, by his grace, the Almighty God, uh, I got re-elected again in 2023 to represent the same Kaya Makemanji Wojibe in the State House of Assembly. I was born from 20, 44 years ago, uh, and uh, to be precise, around February 13, 1978, and I uh, finished my primary, both primary and secondary education around 1994 and i went to Kwara state polytechnic for my a-level igmb in 1995 by 1996 seven i was admitted to mandamfordia university sokoto where i had a first degree in the political science i finished oh okay sir mm, that was uh, i was uh, watam as millennium graduate then oh. so i had my nyc in 2002 and the National Assembly in the Department called Common Services, uh, my one year mandatory youth service with the National Assembly. After which uh, I was offered a, a, a job placement with my local government as Administrative Officer 2 for just a year. And uh, a change of government in 2003, by Bukola administration came on board, and the previous one was for the Mohammed Lawan administration and got me the job. And when Bukola came on board, uh, most of the employment done under uh, Governor Mohammed Lawan were all disengaged. So we felt we were, dis uh, we were given uh, a disengagement letter, and of which uh, I ventured into politics. Okay. And in 2004, I was offered another opportunity to serve in Kayama local government as the special assistant to the chairman of the democratically elected chairman of the council on legislative matters. I served there for four, for two, for, I mean, for three years, from 20 to 2008. 2009, I set up a business outfit called Kama Global Services. It is a transport outfit and also it uh, uh, and other general businesses i managed that for quite like four years after which uh, i was offered appointment as a director of youth in the campaign office of uh, bukola saraki that is the mandate they call it mandate uh, office after which by 2015 uh, after 2015 general election by 2016 i was also appointed as a special assistant to the Fatai-led uh, administration in Kwara State on non-governmental organization. I served there for oh, close to two years, and uh, Bokola eventually left the APC party back to PDP. Uh, at that scenario, I was uh, called upon by my people not to also follow uh, Bokola-led leadership to PDP. I remain as an APC member and I don't have option because that office was not an elected office, I mean elective one. So I had no option than to resign that appointment as special assistant. I resigned, I went home, my people now said, oh, look, we be based on what you have done, come and have this ticket to run for the state assembly. So in 2019, as I said earlier, I was here, and by his grace again, I'm back here, 2023. All right, sir. Thank you, sir. Actually, we have loved to ask you about your educational and political background, but with all what you said, you've answered everything. So moving on, sir, sir as a member of us of Assembly, what are your plans and your vision for your constituency, sir? Yes. Uh, so far, so good. 
uh, I happen to come from an Algerian community. Okay, sir. My place is one of the most um, undeveloped local government in Kwara. Uh, we don't have road, no portable water as such, no basic, no basic uh, like health center, yeah. medical health center, uh, insufficient. Uh, you know. So when I came here, and, uh, I realized the fact that from where I'm coming from, I need to make serious effort to, to see how my lot of my people can be bettered. In oh, so doing, I was opportune to be the chairman of House Committee on Water Resources in my first tenure. So I had an interface with His Excellency, the Executive Governor of Kwara State, in so in two or three occasions. Look, Your Excellency, these are the needs and aspiration yearning of my people. How can you come to their aid? My Excellency, in his wisdom and his magnanimity, he, he, I, I put up a memo to him. Like, look, we need to get this health center rehabilitated. Which of the health center, I did mention the, health, the name of the health center to him. Memo was approved and those... Uh, educational uh, uh, school for like primary schools who are also giving attention. I was also I draw his attention to dilapidated, on I mean interrupted supply of electricity to the environment to some of the locality under my constituency. And uh, the, like in the era of transformer, he was able to provide and connect some community who are you know a new developed area that yes. don't have electricity. So those area, those community benefited from the electricity supply and provision of uh, 500 kVA transformers. So um, uh, then, in the era of employment yes. to the youth, we have also discussed with him, and uh, he has assisted a lot. Today, I can be able to count like 10 to 15 graduates that have been able to, you yes. know, secure just job uh, placement for them and today they are civil servants in the state. So for this administration, the vision now is, like I told you earlier, the road from here to this local government headquarters is nothing to write on about. Okay. So it's our major priority. All the political office order from that area, because fortunately enough, we have a senator representing Kwarano, that is from Kayama. So we are synergizing with him to see how we can do, draw the attention of the federal government right. because the road is a fed, federal road, is a uh, trunk A road. Okay. So, and His Excellency, like I said earlier, he has also tried to see how he can also, you know, put palliative measure on, yeah, the, yeah. on the road by way of grading, some feeling, you know, latriting, all those things are done. But as I'm talking to you now, with this heavy, uh, the, the season we are into, the rain season, uh, it will take you nothing less than eight hours before wow. you get to the local government headquarters. Wow. So my vision and my priority That's now right. is to get that road done before the end of this administration. Okay. And His Excellency, last month we have an interface with him, and he did promise that okay. Dambaba uh, will ensure that that road is done before the end of this administration. And yes. couple up with the fact that today he's the chairman of Nigerian Governors Forum, yes. so there are a lot that that office where the quarrels will benefit from that exalted office. Okay. So, uh, apart from which, those you mentioned are just called basic amenities for the people, what other ways are you trying to take people out of poverty, like, like other things you are trying to work on? Like, as you are aware, um, poverty is endemic, especially in the, uh, that kind of a society. So, uh, within the last four years, I have been able to carry out empowerment programs. Okay. You understand? We have been able to see how we, 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 we bought a lot of motorbikes, okay. you know, freezers, you know, uh, showing machines, uh, genset, uh, air dressing, uh, salon equipment for our air dress, uh, I mean, our air dress, uh, people who engage in air dressing yes, business. So we, we've been able to do all those things to our people. And uh, majorly, like I told you, it's an agrarian society. Okay. So about 70 to 80% of the population of my local government, they are peasant farmers. Wow. So when it gets to a farming season like this, 
uh, what is very very key to them is this to is insecticide yes i mean uh, herbicide right. herbicide is very important so yearly year in year out what i used to do in this office is to get it in bulk to see how we can Assist you know uh, give it to our farmers you understand and yes, uh, when we came in too uh, we also uh, brought to the notice of this that tractor is also something that can facilitate yes. economic growth in that area so in his wisdom too he has also contract i mean he has acquired some tra tractors and it was taken to those uh, my local government and it has benefited a lot of farmers and that has also boosted the, their productivities that year and subsequently that that party has been ongoing as i'm talking to you okay sir sir as a member of us of assembly like what is your advice for nigerians or, or let me say quara people quarants concerning the new government we can all see the subsidy the exchange rate the situation is hard on people so what's your advice for the people on the new government sir yes like the subsidy remover has brought serious on two hardship serious to nigeria issue. yes it's, and uh, we as political office holder we are in the best position sure. to let you know because the number of calls test messages that we receive on daily basis that people need to get food on their table mm. increases as a result of the removal of waste subsidy so we are equally feeling the heat of the removal of forest subsidy and my advice to nigeria is nigerians should really appreciate the fact that that removal of forest subsidy is a, the way to go wow but the hardship i want to assure them that is going to be temporary at the end of the tunnel there will be light definitely so we'll get there but the nigerian government the nigerian economy cannot sustain mm the first subsidy so like i told you the best thing for this administration to is to remove that first subsidy but it's unfortunate that it has come with an attendant hardship. economic hardship that is hitting people uh, daily so my advice to nigeria is that one we need to go back to farm especially for those of us who happens to come from an agrarian community mm. see how we can you know invest heavily yeah. on farming because food on our table mm -hmm. will reduce this this hardship by the time because for my area my, my local government now a bag of a comb then before the robot of around 2000 3000 because as i'm talking to you now 50 kilogram of maize now is close to 30,000 naira. we have never had that before oh. But by the time so many people are into farming, there will be bumper harvest and there will be a lot of productivity yes. that will definitely crash the prices of uh, food stock. But on the part of the government, the government also have to encourage the farmer by way of providing basic farm implement and this herbicide to the farmer so that that will also encourage them to and credit facility too. Okay. Credit facility needs to be, to be introduced and storage facility at the end of the harvest they should not allow those things to get rotting because the road is bad and if the bomber harvest i mean the probability is high and they don't have storage facility that will definitely i mean rotting their uh, farm products and definitely next year they may not be interested in going into farming so going forward is for them to go into farming mm -hmm. and they should, they, they should we should try as much as possible to persevere that this uh, removal is, is, I mean, the hardship is temporary. At the end of the tunnel, like I said, there will be light. Right. And it shall allow our thinking, is our prayer is by the end of this year, Kaduna, I mean, Portaco refinery will start okay, his local yes. production. And uh, by the time Dangote refinery, too, <laughs> though we have had so many changes of uh, date from August 20. 23 now to uh, around 2025 wow. so that kaduna refiner i mean portacourt worry very soon between now and middle of next year yeah. those uh, refineries will come through uh, the land light and production will commence there and by the time we are doing local production then 
I think right. uh, the, the the pump price. Of thank you very much, and thanks for having us, sir. You are most Love welcome. Love to see you again. Most welcome. And we'll be coming back to maybe after. I think we are in your how many days now? In the office. Yes, sir. We, we are barely through three months now. Uh -huh. So we are looking forward to coming again to ask Alpha all your vision if you are able to achieve them. Or not. Thank you very much. Yeah. And we have come to the end of this session. I still be my uncle said at the bamboo at the pukola from Nas TV Africa. We will manifest Africa. Bye. I am Honorable Abdullah Hadi Dudambaba, member representing Kaya Makemanji Wujibe from Kaya Madlopa Government Era Party, uh, a determined member who is very, very interested in the welfare and the well-being of the people of Kayama. Uh, my vision and focus is to ensure that the uh, paradigm, there is a paradigm shift in Kayama local government, especially in the area of rural infrastructure, water supply, basic health centers, education, and human capital development. Those are some of the focus of my administration to see how I can improve on the welfare and well-being of the people of Kayama. And so far, so good. We've been able to achieve, if not 100%, we've been able to do significant uh, progress. We have been able to make significant progress in, that, in those areas. And uh, like I told people, I will continue to redouble my effort to ensure that my people get enough dividends of democracy from the state, the local, and the federal government. Nigeria, you